Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Tiger here, and I'm up here today uh, with a new series that I'm hoping um, I can make into a series. Uh, lately, we've had the uh, ASMR PS2 collection, and uh, you guys seem to be enjoying that. Those videos are doing really well, and I'm glad they are because, you know, I've always wanted to go back and take another look at the PlayStation 2 and just see how far it's come. Um, I will uh, give you a little bit of an update on the whole pickup side of things. Uh, there's not going to be about a, a pickups video until probably the new year. Um, I said to Heather in the new year, if we both put up £100 or something when we get paid, we can treat ourselves and stuff like that. Because we will be doing up the house, getting some new bookcases and shelves and things. So storage will hopefully be not much of an issue in the new year. So I will probably go all out in the new year and get myself a nice good selection of pickups. Um, even if it means having to go to a different town centre, even if it means having to get on a train. I could always pop up to Birmingham for the day or something like that, I don't know. Um, but I am starting a new line of series. Lately, I've been watching, I've been making it my goal to watch every single adult animation ever made because I'm really enjoying my adult animation. You know, the kid in us enjoys the whole, we're watching a cartoon basically, but the adult likes the fact that, you know, all the inside jokes and the, um, and, uh, you know, it's got a lot of adult themes in it. And uh, we all know the the well-known ones such as Family Guy, South Park, American Dad, Simpsons. Those shows already deserve a place, a, a review in their own right, you know what I mean? But lately I've been using Netflix quite a bit, which actually... I'm glad that I did because before I was paying for Netflix and it was only getting watched maybe once a week. Nowadays it's getting watched every night and I have actually now watched every single adult animation on the UK Netflix mind you. Bear in mind uh, American Netflix does have some different um, shows on there but nonetheless I'm talking about the top 10 um, adult animations on Netflix. Um, well, it's not a top 10 show. Um, I'm got each video is going to be a review of the show. However, I will be doing it in sort of like a, in a rating system. So today's video will be the one that I least enjoyed. Well, not least enjoyed, but the one that's like 10. You've got to have one at the bottom. You've got to have one at the top. Um, I will say, I think it's 10. I'll have to double check my app to know which one it is, but I'm sure it's 10. So this will be number 10. Um, now, actually, I do want to also state that it's actually a couple of things to state is that, first of all, that I'm still in the middle of watching one of the shows, and bear in mind, some of these shows will be getting new seasons and stuff like that. And there is also a show on that will be I will review that was on Netflix. However, it is no longer on Netflix, and I think we all know what that is. For those of you who probably don't know what it is, it's Rick and Morty, but that's not the video we're talking about today. But that's basically what I'm going to hopefully try and do, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy this sort of thing, because I think a lot of people have Netflix and don't really know what to watch. And the thing is, if you're paying £10 a month for Netflix, you really want to get the most of your money, because it works out about £120 a year that you pay for Netflix. So, And when you add that up over how many times you actually use it you really got to sit there and go do i actually use netflix or or not you can watch these shows um on internet websites and things like that but i personally think netflix is the best way to watch these shows and a lot of the animations that i'm going to be reviewing are actually or recapping review whatever you want to say are actually netflix exclusive or originals and it makes me go you know what some of these shows are really good but today, guys, at number 10 is Pacific Heat. Um, I finished Pacific Heat a um, couple of nights ago. I think not last night, the night before. And uh, like I said, I'm trying to watch all of the adult animations. And it's, it's nice that they always add new episodes and new seasons and stuff like that. And we are getting new ones coming out and stuff like that. So I am looking forward to... Uh, to... Uh, Seeing what comes out of Netflix in the, in the uh, 2019, in the new year. 
But uh, Pacific Heat, guys, when I saw the picture come up on my Netflix, um, and I knew the first thing that came to mind is Archer. It did look like an Archer wannabe, and that is where I'm going to refer to a lot in this review. So beware, if you haven't watched Archer, I am so sorry. Watch it, and then you'll know what I'm sort of trying to get at. So Pacific Heat is basically an adult animation that actually, well, it, this is where it, where I want to state that it says adult animation, but it's actually only rated a 12 for teen. So it's more of a teen animation, and, I'll, and that's sort of why it's voted at the bottom for me, because I'm not saying that I didn't enjoy the show. I'm just saying that for me personally, um, the show focuses on basically, again, similar to Archer, a certain sort of police unit. It's set in Australia, which again is probably why I don't get a lot of the jokes um, or maybe why I don't enjoy it as much as, say, someone who's from Australia probably would enjoy it. Um, for me, it just seemed like a really dumbed-down version of Archer. I am so sorry, um, anyone that enjoys Pacific Heat, but for me personally, it felt like a dumbed-down version of Archer. Is that a bad thing? In a way, yes, but I enjoy Archer, so that's why I stuck, um, stayed with the show and watched it to the end. Now, there's only one season on Netflix, and there's only 13 episodes, but it is a Netflix original, which leads me to believe that we probably will be getting a season two at some point. Now, it definitely isn't one of the pop more popular ones, because I... Everyone I've mentioned it to has said, wow, I don't know what that is. Um, but like I said, the show has a lot of um, like NCIS vibes, but more uh, adult animation. Again, it's basically similar to Archer in the sense that it's all based... Um, each character is kind of like a stereotypical character. You've got um, Todd, who's basically like the cocky guy. He's, he's the Archer of the show. You've got Maddie, who's basically like Lana. In, in uh, Archer, you know, really focused on her work, really smart and all that stuff. Uh, and then you've got V, I think her name was VJ. Um, uh, and she's sort of like, not the dumb bimbo one, but she's smart. But at the same time, she's quite, um, not cosmetic, but, you know, kind of like a lady lady kind of thing. I don't know how to explain it. I'm sorry if I said that wrong. And then you've got... Um, Fucking hell, I've actually forgot his name. That's crazy. Not Todd. Um, who was the other one? It's fucking crazy. I've already forgotten his name. That's how. That's the sort of thing I'm trying to get at. There's another guy who's quite dumb and uh, a bit slow-witted. Um, I like him. I think he's pretty uh, a pretty dumb character. And he's sort of what the one that you're drawn to the most because of how stupid he is in certain situations. Um, the show does have a lot of reoccurring characters. However, one thing that I didn't really like about the show is that the villain characters, um, in each episode, it's someone different. And there's only one character, a uh, villain character, that comes back who was in, I think, the first or second episode and then comes back in the final episode. Sorry if that's a spoiler in any way, but um, I'm not going to sit here. But I, I didn't really find that the villain characters to be that well perceived you know what I mean they were all stereotypical characters and that is the pretty much the show it's all based on stereotypes unfortunately and not in a good way either I know stereotype jokes can be quite funny if they're done right but for me it just seemed like they were using um stereotypic jokes in an offensive way to try and seem like you're watching an adult animation and an edgy show because it's a cartoon you can get away with it but at the same time it didn't really seem that that like well thought out you know the, the thing is if you've got a show and you've got characters in the show that are going to come back for example if you were watching a batman show you know the joker's going not going to be in one episode he's going to be in a lot of episodes he's coming back and you start to actually like the villain characters and you start to actually like some of the side characters and and stuff like that you know you start to relate to some of them you start to like them or dislike them or whatever i'm just saying the show is really focused on these four characters and then obviously the chief and then there's a uh, i think her name is kwang or something or kwang or something i think she's um korean i believe 
like she's like the tech guru so if you're a fan of like ncis or something and you want to watch something a little bit more light-hearted pacific heat probably is a good show for you again it's based in australia so again not being australian uh, i probably a lot of the jokes probably have gone over my head you know whoosh as they say um but i don't think it was a bad show in any way i just think it's it for me personally it's classed as an adult animation, but for me, it's more like a teen animation. You know, a lot of teenagers probably would enjoy this show more than, you know, someone, you know, me being you know, 23 years old now, classed as an adult, of course. Um, compare it to, say, Archer, which is a really thought-out show. The characters are, are, are well thought out. You know, each character is memorable. Um, you know, even the side characters are memorable and, you know, they get reoccurring characters. In this show, it just seems like it's relying too much on stereotypical jokes rather than actually thinking out something intelligent in a, in a way that's intelligent and funny. Because uh, this show didn't make me really laugh that much. Um, and I don't really laugh at TV shows that much anyway. Sometimes it's more of an inside joke and a laugh that you laugh inside uh, which can be entertaining, um, but for me, Pacific Heat just felt like I was watching the show because I wanted to get it watched, not because I was excited and what's going to happen in the next episode. I know in in cartoons, what happens in the previous episode doesn't necessarily mean what's going to happen in the next episode, and, and that's a formula that some people work with, you know. And in, in adult animation, they're not meant to be taken too seriously anyway, uh, as the same with cartoons, but again, if you're going to try and make a show um, that does bring back some characters and stuff, at least give me something to think about them and give me something to work with about them. Don't sit there and, you know, just make some stereotypical jokes and think, oh, I'm edgy, uh, when in reality, you're not really being that edgy, it's more just jokes that a lot of younger people might find funny um but the older people probably don't again it being an australian show it's probably not meant for me so i'm not going to give it a lot of slate because i know if some people from australia have watched this show and find it hilarious then that's fair enough i can see where you're coming from it's just personally i didn't think it was any um, an amazing show. I, I didn't hate it by any means. I thought, you know, it was entertaining, you know, I was watching it, but at the same time, I didn't, like, watch it because I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to watch it. You know, when I was watching some other shows that I'm going to, that will be higher up in the list, you know, I was so happy when it was time for me to watch it, whereas with uh, this show, it was sort of like, okay, let's get it finished, you know, to say that we've watched it now, but Nonetheless, uh, Pacific Heat, you know, all in all, um, if I was to give it a star rating, again, ratings on stars, I'd probably give it about a 2.5 stars. Um, me personally, it just didn't appeal to me that much. Um, it is copying a lot of things to, with Archer, and it's trying to be too much like Archer. So at the same time, you know, Archer's a really good show and really thought out. So if you're going to try and copy Archer or take notes from Archer, Look at what Archer does right and then take that into your show and do, you know, don't completely copy Archer, of course. Don't just copy someone else's work and call it your own. But take what's good about that show and go, you know what, let's do what they're doing, but put our spin on it kind of thing. Um, again, it's rated a 12, so um, you can't really sit here and go, well, it's going to have nudity in it and it's going to have a lot of, violence in it because you don't have an adult animation doesn't have to be all about the swearing and the violence and the and the adult stuff you know a thought out jokes and uh things like that um are can be um which is why we say it's adult um animation because the jokes and stuff in there that may not you know you know, to kids, they go, oh, my God, this is really adult. Whereas the adults are like, you know what? I enjoy this show because I can sort of relate to some of it. And, and it's sort of, you know, it's not right. But at the same time, you're like, oh, my God, that's so true or something. Overall, Pacific Heat, um, not a terrible show by any means. I've watched worse. Um, but in per me personally, there had to be a number 10 on the spot. 
and one show had to get number 10 and unfortunately Pacific Heat has got that um, so number 10 was Pacific Heat hopefully um, we'll get some better um, hopefully as we go on uh, and I'll get into the more shows that I really enjoyed that much um, number one I'm gonna is gonna be a long video because I've got a lot to say about number one but Hopefully you guys um, enjoy these sort of new series on the channel. Hopefully it's something different. Um, sorry I don't really have any visual representation to work with here. But again, check it out if you've got the UK Netflix. It is on there. Just look for Pacific Heat. Um, I don't know if it will be on American Netflix. It might be. If not, you can probably find it on the internet or there might be a DVD or something available somewhere. Um, I don't know. Australian show. Um, I have nothing against Australia. So anyone who's watching from Australia, if you've watched Pacific Heat, um, let me know, did you actually enjoy it more because you're Australian? Or do you think it was just, again, the same thing as me? Um, so the pros, um, the only pro that I can really say about it is that it's not, I, I, you know, the only thing pro about it is the, the, I don't really, well, I, it's not really got any pros apart from it weren't terrible. <laughs> um, and the cons, again, like I said, a lot of the jokes are based on stereotypical and racist things without trying to be too racist, of course. Um, and a lot of the jokes probably went over my head anyway. So I know it's not fair in some senses, but at the same time, I can't, you know, not talk about this show because it has to be on there because it's part of the uh, adult animation um, on Netflix. So hopefully Netflix, um, in season, if they do a season two of this show, hopefully they improve on it. They try and um, develop the characters a little bit more. I know it's not meant to be taken seriously, but at the same time, you know, you can take a, um, a show that's not to be taken seriously and make people care about the actual show. It's crazy, you know, um, and number one will explain that so i can't wait for number one but nine uh ten, no, that's, that's ten pacific heat 2.5 stars average show nothing special to me personally but something I had to start somewhere so if you guys enjoyed this video feel free to <laughs> excuse moi leave a like and of course comment below let me know what you think of pacific heat are you going to go and watch it after this review or what and do you use netflix of course and anyway of course, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. I'm going to set up the old Wii Cube today, actually. Yeah, I'm going to... I might play some Game Boy Advance games on my Wii Cube, actually. I'm in the mood to play something a little bit more 32-bit, <laughs> I guess we can say. And, uh, of course, I love me uh, some Game Boy Advance. So maybe if I set it up and uh, hopefully it works fine. And, yeah, I, I'm just in one of those moods today where I don't really know what I want to do. So you know what I thought? I was going to play my mod father, but I couldn't find the, um, the uh, not the plug, because I can use PS4 plug, but I couldn't find the um, AV cables for it. So if I find them later, I might find it tonight, actually. I don't know. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, feel free. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm joking. And of course, have a nice day. And let me know what's going on in your weekend. Are you doing anything special? Have a nice day, guys. Take care. And bye-bye. I'm aware that my have a nice day is 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 from an Australian character. I know. I know. <laughs> Take care and bye-bye.